welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I do my own sound effects, just so you know. I do my own everything. <laughs> okay, so we are going to get started with today's show. Just a few little conspiracy theory or not thoughts. So, um... First, first, even before we go there, let's do this. Um, I will never reach out to anybody for a reading. Please do not get scammed. Don't do it. Um, if you would like a reading, you reach out to me via my website, T-O-N-I-G dot I-N-F-O. And... Uh, or call my business number, which is 414-897-2869. Those are the only ways to get a reading. I will not uh, DM you. As a matter of fact, in most of my social media, I try to have my DM turned off because nobody should see those pictures. Nobody. I mean, I'm just saying, men, keep it in your pants. That's all I'm saying. Stop sending those pics out. Seriously now. Um, so yes, and no, I'm not a sugar baby. I'm a full grown woman. So for those of you DMing me, asking me if I'm a sugar baby, no, full grown woman. Mm -hmm. If I were doing some kind of sugar stuff, I wouldn't be wanting bags. I'd be wanting houses, fourplexes. So not a sugar baby, full grown woman. Okay. Okay. So I just had to turn off my DMs because I'm far too snarky and sarcastic to respond to some of the things I was receiving. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> let's get on with the show. <laughs> um, so please, 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 please um, do not get scammed, okay? Do do not get scammed. Um, <laughs> thank you, Patrick. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, so a uh, couple things. Um, a couple videos that I saw that, you know, I always tell everybody, do the research. I see this, I bring it to you, but look it up, see for yourself if it's true or not. So Australia in Queensland, they have started the electronic funds. Some people, I can hear you clapping already. <gasps> How easy and convenient. No, halt your claps. There was a woman on last night that basically said, in Queensland, if you're a teacher and you have not, you know, for those of you listening, been injected, they have cut their pay and they're doing all electronic now. So they have control of that. I mean, just think about that. Do, 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 do. If that is true, and they are planning on rolling that out in other areas. What does that mean? That they have a lot more power and control over you via money than they would like you to believe. Now, there is a, um, here in the U.S., I'm going to try to find this. I, I know I'm not going to be able to, but it is on one of my other shows. Oh, yes. Oh, executive order. <laughs> Look at this. It's right here. Executive, I believe it's Executive Order 14067. I think that's the executive order that says they are going to try to roll that out in the U.S. in December. Possibly December of, of this year. It's either December 23rd or December of 23. I know a big difference there. <laughs> But look it up for yourself. Um, look up executive orders with um, social credit scores in America. Look up whatever you need to look up to find the appropriate answer. So this is just what I've heard. Could be true. Could not be true. It's true. It's true. Anyway, let's go to the next thing. Let's 
chug it right along here. <laughs> um, and for those of you who think that you own your own business and it won't make a difference or you're independent contractor, so it won't make a difference, your money is yours, you could not be more incorrect or wrong. Wrong. Uh, once they roll this out, they will determine how much you are to make every month, whether you own your own business or not. And those people who don't believe that, check with other countries that have already rolled it out. China. China. Okay. Having said that, Let's get started. Hey, Patrick, hey, Vaughn, hey, everybody watching on YouTube. If you would like to join the show live, if you are watching on TV, Rood Rangers TV, WSCS, or any of the other channels I am on, Roku, a number of other channels that I am on, you can join the show live. Ah, you can join via one of the podcasts or you can join via YouTube. On YouTube, we have a little chat going and uh, you can post anything you want for clearings or questions. I get to them as I can. Or you can call into the show and I will be happy to answer your questions or help you connect doing, doing, doing with loved ones on the other side. The call-in number, if you are um, uh, uh, listening or watching and want to call into the show and join the show live is 845-277-9131. Hey, Stevie, how are you today? Um, for those of you who are not aware, Stephen is my youngest brother who just thinks I'm, he thinks I'm really famous. <laughs> Because he gets to watch me on YouTube. <laughs> so he's always like, Tony, you so famous. You my famous sister. <laughs> he has Down syndrome. So um, the way he talks is a little different. And I'm like, no, not, not so famous. No. <laughs> but it's so adorable. He loved, He just loves it so much. Um, so everybody... <clears throat> Let's get growing here. I'm looking at my call log. I'm going to try to get to absolutely everybody on my call log today. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get get to you. If um if I don't, please remember I do I am going to start doing pop-up shows. So if you are um you know, subscribed or hit the buttons that you need to button button push to know when I come on, you'll always be notified of when I'm going to do a show. I also put two new healings on TikTok this morning. I'll be sharing them to my other social media, social, no alcohol here, folks. <laughs> social media channels later today after after my clients. Hey, Amy. Hey, Fawn. Hey, Patrick. Okay, we're going to go to the very first caller, who is 203. Ah, 203, where are you calling from? What's your name? Hey, Tony. It's Pat from Connecticut. Hey, Pat. How, How are, are you today? Hey, thank you for the most recent reading. It was so, as usual, chock full of so much information. My head was spinning for like two days. Thank you so much, Pat. That's Great. so kind of you. Thank you. And it's always an honor Thank to be you. able to read for people. Uh, huh? It's always an honor to be able to read for people in a private session. It is. I. That's. Um, it's such a. It, it. It truly is an honor when people call and they they are um, reaching through me to spirit or to loved ones to get guidance in their life. So, yeah. How can I help well, you? Well, you always, you always give 150% and uh, give more than what we even, we even know to ask for. So, oh. it's just wonderful. Thank I'm you. confused. I don't know. I was going to ask about my dog. Whatever you're called to, a message my dog or my son. Will you pick one? <laughs> <laughs> Will I pick one? Ah! Um, okay. So, um so, uh, what what would you like to know about your dog love? 
It's Chance, okay. right? Your dog's name is Chance, part. correct? Yes, Chance. Okay. okay, so, in yes, Chance. In the reading, you said he had a dark area in the lower left quadrant. I changed his dog food. Uh, he's back on more fluid for his joints, etc. Do you see? How's that stomach? Do you see improvement? Um, what do I, do I need to go to, I know there's all kinds of questions, but do I need to go to that soon or can that wait? What do I need to have them check? Any of those questions would be okay. appreciative. Thank you. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a clearing for your dog and any pet. All of our pets are healthy and thriving. So I get a no on that. So let's clear that. And if you're if you're listening and your pet is very healthy and thriving, this will just help your pet to be healthier. Okay. Um, what I'm seeing in that area is it's very very tender. I'm hearing it's digestive. I feel like um, I don't know why I'm hearing this. And if I I if you have tried this, I I um, I don't know. I think pumpkin can be soothing to the tummy of dogs, but I'm hearing pumpkin, but I'm hearing only like a teaspoon on some food, only a teaspoon, not a lot, but pumpkin, um, like pumpkin puree. Let's make it fancy. Um, okay. Some pumpkin puree. So I'm, I'm giving him... I'm giving him too much. I give him about a tablespoon every day. And I actually was wondering, should I give it every day? And it's just too much. Okay. But he does get it. If he's getting a tablespoon, you can keep it at a tablespoon. It should, it should be, it, it doesn't need to be a lot. So just keep it there. Or if you want to try taking it down to a teaspoon, that might be, just try taking it down to a teaspoon and see where that, puts it. Um, I will. And the other thing I'm hearing is this digestive thing is it is going to pass and it will be very, um, it's, it's almost like, okay, so I'm just, I'm going to tell you the words that I hear and hopefully they'll make some sense. Um, I hear inflammation, gas, gastrointestinal, and um, kind of like a side effect. Now, if there's a little inflammation in the gastrointestinal area and we take the pumpkin down to a teaspoon, that means maybe there was just a little bit and it was causing things to like float a little too quickly. It's just this one spot, like this little, little yep. bitty spot. So I do feel like, this is going to subside with possibly within a week, but we'll give it a month for everything to heal up. I don't think there's a, okay. a lot else you can do at this point. It's almost like one of those things where it just needs to work itself out. Um, but do, okay. do see what happens if you take that pumpkin down just a little bit and also... Mm -hmm. See, um, I'm going to do another clearing just just specifically for chance. I don't typically do like r super specific clearings. I try to make it all inclusive for anybody. But um, chance has some digestive issues. I get a yes. Let's clear that. And oh, what cause this has healed. I get a no. Let's clear that. Oh, OK. Yeah, we're going to let that be because that's a bit of work for chance right now. Whew. Okay, Pat, thank you so much for calling in. I hope this was helpful. Thank and I'm, you. I'm so grateful that you do we reach both. out for private sessions also. I love you, Tony. Oh, I'm my so, goodness. I'm so grateful for you. I love you, You really too. helped my life. Believe and it's on the right track. And Chance and I both thank you. And you're absolutely right. Things are flowing too freely with him. So you're right on. Thank okay. you. God bless. Yeah. Sometimes we get a little too much fiber and it can cause that digestive system to be a little inflamed, if you will. So yes, try just bring it back a, a tad and see what happens. You don't need to tweak much, but tweaking that little bit will make a huge difference. Okay. Oh, thanks so much. You're welcome, beautiful girl. You have an amazing rest of the day, and I cannot wait to talk with you again. Thank you. And thank you for being part of the show. Thank, thank you so much.
Thank you. Thanks so much. You are welcome. I'm going to go to the next caller. Please remember when I call your area code, let me know your name and where you're calling from. Please take me off of speaker speaker phone. And if you have me playing in the background, please turn mute that while you're on air with me. We're going to go to 415. 415. How can I help you today? Hi, Tony. It's Kate in New Mexico. Hey, Kate from New Mexico. How are you? (laughs) Today is my, don't be offended, don't be offended, anybody. Today is my oldies but goodies show. All of my peeps that have been with me for so long are playing with me today. I love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, Kate, uh, what's up? What what do you want today, Kate? (laughs) Yeah, today is my mother's birthday, and tomorrow is my dad's birthday. They're only one day apart. So uh, I want to say happy birthday to both of them and to hear from the usually together, but any messages from, from yeah. mom and dad? So as soon as you said it's their birthday, of course a song popped in my head, and it's that song, you say it's your birthday, <laughs> da-da-na-na-na-na, happy birthday to you, da da na 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 So yes, that is awesome. So let me focus now, let me bring it in. Um, so I want to, I, and while I'm, while I'm on birthdays, I want to say happy birthday to Dale, my brother-in-law, whose birthday was earlier this week. Oh. Um, so let's get that out. And I know a couple Libras, I believe Patrick is a Libra. So his birthday's coming up. Happy birthday, Patrick. And one of my yeah. really good friends, Scott. His I'm very birthday. close. I'm September also. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. So lots of Libras checking in and happy birthday mm-hmm. to all of you. Okay, let's. Okay, so your mom and dad. Okay, you always get a similar message, Kate. Um, so the first thing I hear is get going. Mm-hmm get moving, let's get back on track, let's get back on track. And as I see this, I see like, I, I know you're in New Mexico, you told me, I see a desert de- desert rose, like, um, oh, no jokes right now, folks. Desert road, not desert rose. Did I say desert rose? <laughs> it's well, a, I mean, it could both be there, yeah. yeah. Well, it's actually a desert road. Um, like it's just all okay. all dirt, and then what they're showing is that you need you need to move forward because the moment you move forward, there's going to be all this fl- uh, flourishing, like a uh, flourishing of um, gr- greenery, like um, all these plants and um, growth. So I think they're ta- they could be talking about your love life or they could be talking about your work life now i'm gonna say as soon as i said love life i heard that song let's get it on let's get it on that's more the sexy time life (laughs) not so much the love life that's the sexy time life (laughs) so adult wait let me do let me do that very white voice adult sexy time (laughs) i can't do it i can't i try (laughs) That was my best, Barry White. I'm sorry, Barry. I apologize. Um, uh, <clears throat> okay, so what so are I, they helping me find? I just haven't seen a job that well, I've had. You know, so many bad jobs, and I I want the job to be, to be happy at. So I just haven't seen a job that um, well, so, I want to stick with. But so are they helping me? To find that? Yeah. So one of the things I'm getting for you, Kate, is um, I'm hearing like a plethora of songs. I can't even tell you like all these different like lines from all these different songs are coming in. So for work, I feel like you you're in a unique position right now. This position will not might might not last forever, but you're in a very unique position right now where you can start something on your own. And I keep telling everybody um if there's not a job make a job if you don't have a job make a job if you can't find a job create a job figure out what you 
like put down everything you would want to do for the perfect company and then start that, whether that means like sending it out to companies as an independent contractor. Listen, if you want to contract me outside of the company, this is what I do or however, whatever that looks like for you, however that works for you. But I feel like you are in a very unique position to create your own position or or job parameters and then either put it out to company and or people that it will serve. Um, and in the meantime, <clears throat> you can keep looking for positions, but I do feel like at this time it might be really beneficial for you to start doing something um, that you can do like... Uh, uh, it's your own entity is what I'm hearing. It's your own your own entity that you're going to be doing on your own, but not by yourself. Eventually, other people will be doing it with you. I hope that I hope that makes some sense to you, Kate. I really do hope that makes sense to you. Yeah. Okay. So what? Yeah, I think I think Jared, like for apartment, like renting places, they still want you to work for somebody else and so maybe a part-time job and then my own starting my own the other half of the time yeah and you Something know like I I I say to people a lot like the human as humans we are capable of so much more than we are doing and a lot yeah. of people say well I'm just tired but what I found is the more we do the more we want to do and the more energy we have. Energy. And the more mm -hmm. we do what we True. want, the more energy we have to do that. So even if it, even if you find something part-time, you're going to be uh, fine if you do something on your own. Now, I will tell you, you know, if once you're on your own and you're bringing in income, a lot of people don't care as long as you have proof of income. They don't care if it's through a company or yeah. uh, by yourself. I will tell you, okay. one, of, one of the things I've been hearing for a bit of a time is we all, everybody, even if we have like a full-time 40 hour a week, whatever we call it, we need to figure out how to outsource or resource those skills into something on our own because there are going to be some there's it's possible there will be some changes coming in and the sooner we start our own ventures the better it's going to be for everybody involved um and we may um well we're not going to go into that now but we're, we're just doing what you can okay. do on your own and it, it wasn't personal to you it, that that message wasn't personal to you. It was more of a universal or a uh, whatever message. But what I'm going to say is the sooner you can start doing things pretty much on your own and get established that way, the better it's going to be. And you have some really good and unique skills that, mm -hmm. that you could, you know, send to a couple of different companies and possibly contract a couple of different companies to work with them individually, but still be able to work from home and do the parts that you like and maybe not the whole corporate part of it. Oh, I hope that was helpful, Kate. Right. Oh, great. Oh. Can you um, give a clearing for like clarity? Because it's, it's almost like I have too many ideas and it's hard for me to make a, a business plan, you know, something about I know exactly what I want to do or okay. I, I get confused too many things. Okay. So is this clearing more so for work or is it more so for, yes. okay. So let's do this. We are in alignment with our perfect career. Oh. I get a oh. no. So let's clear that. You should feel that coming in you, everybody listening, re-listening. Um, yeah. We know exactly what we need to do to start our own business and get who mama that one hit me to like my yeah. eyes literally flashed um, something flashed in my eyes <laughs> and it's doing it again. Okay, so that's really good. 
And uh, those two should be really helpful for you, anybody listening, re-listening, um, that wants to venture off on Thank their you. own and start their own thing. To, to know exactly what to do and how to do it is sometimes the most important thing. And then here's, yeah. here's the one that I love. We are motivated and taking the steps we need to take to uh, get our business up, running, and keep it going. I get a no. Let's clear that. There we go. There we go. Thank you. You are welcome, love. Okay, Kate, thank you so much for joining the show today. I'm going to go to the very next caller, who is 828. Who, oh, 828, this is, what's this your is name? Karen. 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 And I only have five minutes, and <clears throat> what I want is a five-minute clearing. I have an interview at a thrift store tomorrow and i want a five minute clearing to so i can increase the odds of being hired okay karen <laughs> i don't think i've had anybody be quite so assertive with me on the phone but here we go um <laughs> karen is <laughs> Uh, let's clear Karen here. Let's just do a general all the way around clearing for you, um, Karen. Um, okay, let's clear that. Yeah, Karen, there's there's quite a bit there. I'm going to tell you, that even though I'm going to move to the next caller, this is going to keep clearing for you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank I'm, you, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going into a job interviewing. Uh, I'm going to be. Is it okay if I'm talking to somebody? I'm going to go to the next caller. Nine one six. What's your Karen? I want you to know that clearing is still going. Please just. It's okay if you're talking to somebody while the clearing is going. Please just. Um, I know you had limited time, so I wanted to give you your time and move on. To I want to say thank you so much, everybody, for listening in, watching in, joining us here, being part of this beautiful big journey that we are on together. I just, I adore, I love each and every one of you so much. I will be back Monday at noon, possibly before, but for sure Monday at noon for another um 60-minute show. Thank you so much and have an amazing weekend.